On sailing Catalpa, Lee fixes Catalpa's nose. We head back to Kupang and renew our visas and sail to Alor. Good morning! So it's Christmas Day on Catalpa. It's very wet outside, it's raining. And these guys are patiently waiting for presents under the Christmas tree. Merry Christmas, baby! Merry Christmas! Drops falling in my head for all the people struggling with it. Never a chance. To... So we are uh, talking to our family back in Australia today. Wish we were with these guys. Big Norwegian. The biggest petty in the world. It's so cool. <laughs> Merry Christmas! So it's Christmas morning and we're at Alor and we've got some little friends over here keep coming over. They couldn't understand us but we said Merry Christmas and gave them some biscuits. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Bye. 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 We've just pulled anchor from our anchorage where we were, anchored just off Alor, the town of Alor, and we are going to the start of the um, the entrance to where we came into here to see if we can find somewhere to have a swim and chill out for the rest of Christmas Day. We're not sure. There's no actual anchorages, but we've had a look on um, Overtel. Overtel. And you can see, so it's like Google Maps, and we can see like the reef and the sand and all that stuff. So, Lee thinks he's found somewhere that looks okay. And I'm gonna cook lunch on our way there. Should only take us like an hour to get there, so. No um, rat last night, check the decks, there's no poo anywhere. Oh, yeah, we, we're hoping he's not inside. <laughs> Fingers crossed the, the rat or whatever it was that came and pooed all over our deck. It was no poo this morning. Lee checked most of the lockers and all the places he thinks it could have got in and no traces so they poo a lot so we're hoping that he just came on, had a look around and jumped back in the water and got off. It was nice and calm. Boats. I've been downstairs the entire time making our Christmas feast. We've got some pearl trout, fried rice, garlic bread, roast potatoes, a potato salad, and then I've got some stuff to make, some spring rolls. So that's what we're eating today. Looks beautiful. Uh, pretty shallow when you go in. Yeah. Pump right up real quick. <laughs> I don't mind, I'm just concerned about um, if the wind goes southeast and we blow inwards, so that's the problem. Yeah. So you just go through it out there. How deep is it here? Uh, 29 metres here, and where I just was was 15, and then in front of it I'm guessing a few metres. Okay. So, Mama's been cooking up a storm here. What are we feeding the village today, or what? I'm not cooking for the next three days. <laughs> so it's lunchtime. It's Christmas lunch feast. We've got 
got some fried rice, spring rolls, potato salad, fish, bread. chips, garlic bread, avocados and tomatoes. What happened to all the chips? There's not many left. Look alright? Oh. Mm. Hot. It's hot. Oh, it's beautiful. After lunch, we went in search for somewhere to snorkel and see if we could find the clear waters that Alor was known for. It didn't take us long and we were snorkeling with the fishes. After having a beautiful snorkel around and exploring our new anchorage, we headed back to Catalpa for a quiet Christmas night. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better watch out, I'm telling you Are you sure this was good when you were drunk? You're not editing any videos tonight, Mama, sorry. He knows when you've been sleeping. He knows when, when you're, you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Woo! Merry Christmas, everybody. So we just had Sarah on Snagas. We'd actually picked up a whole mooring boy that's under the underneath the water there. There's Sarah. She's jumping back in the boat. We pulled the anchor once again, not to go far, but just to move somewhere different. So the reason we came to Alor was for its world-class diving, but because of really strong currents here, it wasn't safe for us to dive on our own. So we contacted some dive centers here, but they were all closed for Christmas and the holidays, and it's not season. We were here in December and they are usually closed. After finding this out, we realized we couldn't dive much here on our own, so we decided that it was best to find somewhere else that we could dive. We found a spot close by in front of a village. Could all just live in peace. Grand unification, perfect harmony. Support all positivity. When we take our last breath, we should see everything we We spent the night here and in the morning got invited to come over to the village. Are you okay? Douglas? We towed these guys ashore and went for a look around the village. So beautiful, yeah. It's all so obvious to me. You are important, you are so special. After saying hello and buying some coconuts and giving the kids some pencils, it was time to head back to Catalpa. The water and reef here was amazing.
BC. It's about 100 nautical miles to our first reef stop and uh, there's no land there, it's just a bit of a an atoll. Get these off the coast here. <laughs> if you're lucky, you get a bit of plastic and a bit of net with it. Oh, it's a ripper. I was so excited that we had a fish. Complaining about, Captain? This little baby just did not want to go. So I handed over, I did watch from 12.30 to 4.30, and then when Lee got on watch that this morning, he, uh, would you spend your entire watch, which is five hours? <laughs> no, I've done everything possible. I changed the spark plug, I cleaned the carby, I yeah, I've done a number of things to it. And it's going now, I think there's a loose connection or something somewhere, but it wasn't working. Without it we can't make water and we can't charge our batteries, so we're in a bit of a shit if we don't have a little it. Little bit concerned because we only had like I don't know maybe 100 litres of uh, water and we wanted to spend a bit of time here, so... Oh. But, luckily, it it's going, so... Yeah, we've got about 500 litres of water. Yeah, we made haze of water, charged our batteries right up. We're good for a little bit. We've got sunshine too, which is nice. We haven't had sunshine. We haven't had a lot of sunshine the whole time we've been in uh, Indonesia, so... It's nice to see the sun. Well, especially since Rote. We had some at Rote Island. Where we're stopping. We're about four nautical miles away. What's it called there, Cap? Oh, Palau something. It's like an atoll. Kerang Koka. So we don't know what to expect here, but hopefully we can get in. We can anchor just on the inside here. So we're just off Sulawesi, the outer islands of Sulawesi. Um, can you expand to see where we've come from? So we have come. We have come from. Hello. We dropped the anchor here at Karang Koka Reef. And we were stoked. Clear water, beautiful reefs and nobody around. We are totally happy to be here for the last day of 2017 and start 2018 in one of the most beautiful locations we've been. As we sit here and watch the sun go down one more time for 2017, we realise what an amazing year we've had, seeing and exploring so many different places and we feel so very lucky sitting here in Indonesia knowing that 2018 is a new adventure and we are so very excited for what it will bring. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we explore the underwater world on this beautiful reef. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all
to y'all 